Hi, Andres here. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to configure column mapping in model driven applications. So the goal here is that when we hit the new case button here in this subgrid, which is nothing else than uh, the list of cases open for this account, we can use this quick create form that pre-populates these two fields. So the account is already assigned to the current account that we are seeing here in the main form, but also the assigned to is set to, in this case, the owner of this account. Now, let's see how this is configured. So first, we want to enable the quick create form in the case entity. Now, to do that, we just go to the table, hit the properties button, and in the advanced options, we just need to uh, check the leverage quick create form if available. Once this is set up and we hit the save button, what we are going to see is that we can create quick create forms. We have already created one here, but you'll see that this quick create form uh, option will be available now, otherwise it will be grayed out. The, the creation and the edit of this quick create form is very easy, just like a regular uh, form for any kind of entity. What we have here is the same experience where we can just drag and drop uh, or select the columns from here into any place here and change the labels for each of these sections. Now a very important step you cannot forget about is to enable the quick create form for this entity. So we have the cases form and we need to add the form to the application in the app designer. This is the model driven app designer and you need of course to hit publish. Otherwise the quick create form won't appear no matter how many times you click the add button from the subgrid control. Now it's time to configure the mapping between the account table and the case table. Okay, so to do that, we now have to navigate to the old dynamic experience. So here we hit the gear button and hit the advanced settings menu, and we will navigate to the classic designer, the old dynamic experience. So here we navigate to the solutions and find the solution we are working with right now. In our case, it's these field service tables, and it will open yet another window. Now, uh, here is very important that we understand what we are trying to do. So we are going to set up the mapping between account and cases because we have a one-to-one -one relationship between account and case. So here we have a one-to-end relationship and this means that we are going to configure the mapping from the account. We go here to one-to-end -one relationships, navigate here and uh, we have to find the relationship that we want to set up the mapping the mappings into in our in our case this is the case relationship right so for the related entity case now we open this and get another window and we navigate to the mappings option here we already set this app but uh, what we are thinking here is that when uh, we have uh, we create a case from the account form, we are going to use the source, means the account column, we are going to populate it into the target column. So the owner is going to populate the assigned to field. If we want to create a new mapping, we just hit new and a new window again. We just select the mapping here. For example, imagine that we want to uh, map the account ID, the good, into the name of the case. I don't know why. Uh, so we just hit OK and it will uh, enable this mapping between these two columns. Now to see this in action again, we navigate to our account and we are going to leverage the quick read form and we need to notice that here the owner is me and when we hit the new case, these two columns, the account and the assigned to, are pre-populated, are mapped with the account's information because we have set that up into the mapping of this uh, entity relationship. Thanks for reaching to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments uh, what's another thing you're interested in 
on seeing how to configure or just how it can look like in a model driven application, a Canvas application, or any other board platform component. Cheers.